Hi right, everyone, welcome to Special Forces Elite. Uh, and here with me, I have my friend, my good friend Kent. Get down. There. Friend. Get down there. Okay. Anyways, um, this is a this is the one of the only maps I actually made for StarCraft Two. Uh, and you you're probably familiar with it. Um, if you played in the StarCraft Two arcade at all. Uh, if not this particular version, probably some version of it. And I'll I, I figure this is kind of something interesting because it's one of my more recent things I've done in the last couple of years. I can also talk about some of my choices with some of the stuff. Although it's not quite the same as it used to be because it's just kind of weird. Like it has this game privacy teams thing. Th these things did not exist when I originally made the map. So this is like old. And there's some other changes too that are really fucked up that Blizzard really screwed the pooch on. I'm sorry to say. Uh, when it came to updating their game and just breaking compatibility with maps, but anyways um, One of the main things is the starting unit. Um, I basically this is one of the features is in the lobby You can have custom drop downs of things and so I thought it was kind of neat that I can make it go Oh, you know, you can choose your unit to start with so I'm gonna be you know a goliath because can just give you random Canned. He's a viking I guess. Okay. No, Marine. Okay. Well, they're, they're all pretty good, I, as far as I know. Um, they're just very base kind of units. That they're, they're all the same. There's just very little differences. Uh, and you can also have a handicap and stuff, so let's go start it. And it takes like 10 seconds. They've really messed up the compatibility for this map, I have to say. I, I don't even know if we're going to be able to finish it, but at least I can talk about it. So yeah, this is the picture for it, and this is the intro. I, I, I'm not a big fan of like wordy loading screens that a lot of other maps do. I like just like the, the simplicity of like watching everybody load. So you can kind of go like, oh, hey, my computer's faster than yours and things like that. Things like that, I thought it was funny. That's kind of why I did that. We're team one, Kent. So. Fuck yeah. The first cool thing is that we, we drop in drop pods, which is kind of neat. I, I really like that part of it. Yeah, listen to the music. I, I put that in the music list. It's the um, Sweet Home Alabama in before content ID match. Sweet. Anyways, okay. The, the wiggling planet. This is an elite orbital fortress, and the wigglingness was not actually a part of the, the original game. Blizzard fucked something up with their map. Uh, I, I don't know what the hell they did. This is supposed to be a behavior thing. And just to explain what it does, uh, here, let's just step outside the ring. Oh, you're kind of outside the ring, I guess, Cam. It turns yeah. into turns into a planetary fortress that will shoot things for you. And the idea behind that was that this is the building that you're supposed to kind of protect. Um, and remember, remember, this is kind of based upon, I guess, the original uh, special force. Uh, can't get in here because you're not healing, because this also is a healing uh, aura. Yeah, I know. The idea is, you know, it's it's supposed to save you because, you know, it's, a, it's not like a straight up heal like it was in the StarCraft 1. Uh, or not StarCraft, it's not StarCraft 1, it's, um, yeah, it's StarCraft 1, but, uh, uh, Special Forces. Like I said, the, the map is based upon that. Uh, oh, also if you get, if you get some weapon upgrades, you can start killing in one hit. That's what I'm doing. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember this game, I played it. Oh, have you? Have you now? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure if you... Yeah, remember this, but I remember I, I was when I uploaded this map on the European server. Yeah, that's back when you can upload things on European servers. Um, and as basically this is this is based upon the, the original Special Force for StarCraft One, and and yeah, so like they used to have a bunker I think to protect the players, and then they'd have a beacon you can heal in. But I decided to make it like a, a regeneration aura instead because the, of the new mechanics of the game. So we're just you know we're orbital healing. So the orbital fortress is just something it will convert into a planetary fortress whenever you're not around it. And this this behavior of it fucking around, I don't know why it does that. I'm just guessing that it's trying Disco to convert. fortress. Yeah, it's trying to convert into a planetary fortress, I'm guessing. It's not supposed to do that, and it, it as I said, when the map was originally published, it never did that. Uh, and, and in all subsequent new versions of this map, this bug existed because the, I don't know, Blizzard fucked up the map. I'll also no notice that sometimes these infested Terrans, what they'll do is they'll, um, They'll go into the ground and then they'll come back up. This is not behavior that I originally put in the map. It just, yeah, see that that one just came right back up. Like they're not really dead, I, or they're just burrowing. I don't really know what the fuck they're doing. So, so I think a problem where I can't actually select anything but my hero. Um, what? I think Starcraft's in tutorial mode because like in my box in the bottom right. It just says right click to move and then A, then right left click to attack move. What the fuck did you do? I don't know. 
Maybe you should try to figure this out right now, because I'm going to stop it if you can't play. I can play. Oh, okay. I just can't select anything with my hair. Can you uh, do upgrades? Yeah, I can do upgrades. Okay, I can, then. That's a separate tab. I think you'll be okay, then. I'll be fine, don't worry. It's, it's funny, because I, I basically do a burst of bare bones. Alright, so this, this map went through a couple of iterations, and I'll t explain to you some of the ideas I had around this and some of the cool little concepts I, I thought of for this. I want to see how much... Um, so, basically, the whole idea is that there's sub-menus inside this this orbital fortress, so I can go and, like, create an uh, infantry unit. Uh, there's some mechanical units. Oh, I kind of want to get a siege tank soon. That's I think I'm going to go for tanks. Um, and, basically, my whole idea was to have uh, one specific upgrade for every unit. So this one in particular gets constricting slime. So they're usually just campaign abilities, and I didn't want to make it something boring like just adding stim pack to marine, like upgrading stim pack for marines. I wanted to have it somewhat like actually different. So that's that's kind of what I went for. You're dying. You're dying. So that's kind of what I went for there. Don't get surrounded, Ken. I'm gonna also get some more upgrades. I don't know how, okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna get some armor upgrades now. Not Let me just go heal up. Now, there was also supposed to be some, uh, oh, we can get some life regenerate. Actually, I think the regeneration for life is actually kind of bullshit. There was supposed to also be a mana upgrade, but uh, no, there's no units that use mana here. I think they're all based on cooldown. So, we don't really use that. Now, part of this game, uh, I guess one of the biggest flaws about it is that there's really no progression to it. I mean, it'll be as easy as you want it to be because, like, you you get all the same money all the time. Like, there's there's actually no pressure for us to rush going through this game at all right now. Here, I'm gonna go down here. It's for fun. Um, I'll explain what these different colored units are. I'm the, the game. The game is, as I said, fairly poor progression uh, to it because it's just like I can I can do whatever I want whenever I want. Like, we can just leave this leave this unkilled and then just go kill other stuff. In actuality, the game actually goes faster if you don't kill that th those buildings. So I'm gonna go kill some stuff here. So the different colored units, basically, one up upgrades attack, one upgrades uh, it does t twice as much damage, one gets twice as much health, and I think the other one is twice as much attack speed to it. And so the colors, uh, the tinting denotes basically that kind of a change. Um, uh, you don't actually share income in this. A lot of the later versions of this map uh, that other people created had the shared income. I, I just felt that wasn't really necessary. Ken, what are you doing there? I don't know. It's kind of chilling. I'm gonna get the screw tumor. And so you can actually tell when it's when it's shared income when the when the text gets large when the, it's large text like that. That's how you can tell. And it's actually it's actually pretty nice the way that works. That's kind of just the way I, I work, though. So, like, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of communism, you know? So, what can I say? That's how I designed it. I remember, like, in an early iteration of the map, uh, you had a problem with uh, flying units. Or rather, particularly the Vikings. What about them? People were able to, like, fly out of the map, basically. Were they? It's like, yeah, I remember, like, you had to do something with the hitboxes to make so that people couldn't land in awkward spots. Dude, the animations are fucked up for this. Like, the Zerglings aren't doing anything. Yeah, yeah, I wanted them not to land. Well, they have no fly zones in certain areas. Like, they can't land up here, for example. It's a shame you weren't a Viking, so you can't, you can't demo that. By the way, the animations are fucked up for the Zerglings. There's a lot that's fucked up about this map now. As I said, I've done nothing to this. It's, this is, this worked a long time ago. It's just... Blizzard is really unprofessional about their updates. I'm sorry, I'm going to blame them completely for this. Uh, their updates have broken compatibility with previous oh, maps. I'm killing this. Alright. You're going to regret it. You killed it? Oh, not a lot came out of that. Look, well, there's the thing behind it that's spawning things. Oh, okay. Here, I'll come help you out. I'm here, Ken. Oh, my hero. He's not your hero, buddy. I want to get that spore crawler first. Fuck that guy. Yeah, so you can spend as long, little or as long time as you want. Uh, yeah, don't worry, I'll tank this. How much damage you can also you last do? hit like a pro. <laughs> oh, not lasting. I just I kill everything in one hit because I'm a Goliath. Ah, I stole it. You know we both get the money for that, right? No. <laughs> Fucking idiot. 
All right, we're gonna have to run back real soon after we're done with this. Run, 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 you fool! Right, da, 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 da. <laughs> Christ! Just get, just get over here. Get armor upgrades. Oh, you, you have them. Already did. You get more. Oh, I think it'll be okay, actually. Fucking starship troopers. <laughs> Hey, right, so... Oh, God, did I need match or no? <laughs> it's gonna match your voice. Good shit. Anyways, um, so... There's, perfect. There's a couple of tricks I have around this map uh, that I, I, I guess I can just go through. By the way, this one just spawns more of these things now. Whatever. Excellent. I can, get, like, I can get a... I can get a Hellion maybe soon. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Can, can, can. Can! Can, please! I, I let myself get surrounded. Uh, I think I'm fucked. I'm gonna rip. <laughs> rip. Oh, uh, I fucked up. I'm sorry. I can. <laughs> so bad. I can. I can afford another unit though. Just don't be so bad with this time. All right, whatever. This is the one of the flaws. All right, let's go build um, Goliath now. Let's go to Hellion now. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> oh what the fuck this is oh god damn it I remember now this doesn't have a flamethrower it has a fucking beam <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> I made it, I gave it the fucking the 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 warp well, my ray. It's never gonna die <laughs> it's a it's a void ray <laughs> wait I don't want to get here oh, get it for tree reflective sheet yeah that, all that does is uh. Uh, uh, on it, there's a percent chance that he won't get hit, so he gets a, he now gets a shield on him. What do I get on this? Quad damage. Oh, basically, um, the way the it's it's basically this is a void ray. God damn it! I should have gotten a fucking tank, but I didn't have enough money for that. As I, as I said, you can spend as little or as long time as you want uh, doing this. Uh, well, I'm kind of stuck here now. Oh, now we're gonna be here for a while. I guess I can go explain some other things though about this game and how how it was designed. And, and immediately regret the fact that now like there's too much shit that to kill. You get you get you should go make another marine, yeah. You can have a bayonet on that guy. Also, okay, so some of the other things is these weapons, armor, and life upgrades apply for all units, not just one. Uh, that was one of the other things I did because I was really I was really adamant about the fact that you know players should be able to choose to switch to another unit if they want to in the middle of the game. That that was a, that was one of the really big things that I want to hammer hammer through. I don't know what else. Should I get like more Hellions or what? What do you think? Uh, I get whatever you want at this point. <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't want to get whatever I want. More Marines. <laughs> more Marines. It's gonna have like a ton of them, aren't you? I can get air units. We have a bolt. It's a dream. Yeah, I, I apparently was really afraid of splash damage because I, I just realized that nothing here has splash damage except for like the fucking tank. Oh, there's a fire bat. Well, to be fair, you were right to be afraid of splash because look at this. Yeah, I know. Splash is really effective. Just doing my kills, Cam. I can't help it, I have the most effective thing for the task. You took the fucking void ray. You're just jealous. You're, you're, you're gonna be sorry when the ultras come down. You're buying like a ton of marines. Maybe I should be doing that. But I like tanks. Alright, let's go let's go find something. Let's find out you up these guys. Uh, I, oh you can also kite with these. There you go, I got that thing. Meat grinder intensifies. See, I, I do a lot of damage against that. One of my marines is almost dying. I like the fact that it can shoot and scoot without me doing anything. That's kind of neat. All right, well I can I can go explain some more stuff about the map and what I did. I like how my guy like shifted a little bit. Um, this map was left open, as in like uh, people could edit it and do whatever. I basically said I left a note in the map saying, giving my email, and I said um, you're free to take what you want from it. I just ask if you edit if you edit it using the base as the original, let you leave my name in somewhere. 
And for the most part, people did that. It worked. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if most of you are aware watching it that I was the guy who made the original map for this. Why do- why does only one of your marines have a shield? I just I noticed know. that. Uh, okay, by the way, all of his marines were supposed to have a shield. They all have the upgrade, it's just for some fucking reason the animation didn't apply. Because once again, I'm, I'm once again blaming Blizzard for that, because that worked at some point. I made sure it worked. Oh, that's right, to get a speed increase. And if they're white, they have all the upgrades, so, like, you know, it's the hue. So, yeah, that, that, that's what the colors basically They're white, eh? Well, that's because they have all the, they have all, all the, like, the, the colors, ever. Here, let me just kill that thing. I want to get a tank, so fuck you. And, and, as you can see, the Nuts. orbital fortress there is, uh, still defending itself perfectly fine. You can, this guy's almost dead, I think. No, it's not, actually. I can't tell because the health bars are now colored. I can't fucking tell. No, do you colorblind? Oh god, oh god, run away. Dude, oh, no. do you like those? Look at this, I'm, Holy just, shit. I'm yeah. pew pew. Pew pew pew. What up, nerds? <laughs> they can't get me. I like, I, you know, I kind of like the design of this guy. Because, as I said, this is like the ultimate for kiting. It's amazing. I can almost get a tank. Oh, there's also no friendly fire, like... I can't even target, uh, Canned at all. I can, I'm trying to shoot him, but I yeah, can't. Yeah, actually that's the first thing I tried to do. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually, I built, I built out, like, I, I took out trolling from the game completely, because it's just, you can't do that. Alright, time for tanks. Holy shit, a firebass can blink? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I thought that was a good ability on him. Apparently he counts as a neutral unit, not my ally. So yeah, the, the tanks uh, the tanks are kind of nice, but but their splash damage does not affect uh, the other players either. Why are you just having the marine stay there? Because I'm pretty sure he can handle it by himself. He's just a fu well, no, he's not. If you if you're not gonna like take him out. So yeah, this map was left open because if you guys have heard of my other StarCraft LPs, I've I've often complained about. Um, I'm a believer in like the op the open sourcing and shit like that. Can't move up, please, for fuck's sake. I want to kill some of those other things. Fine. Someone's like, you actually, need me I, to kill things. Actually, I think this. I think the. He, yeah, this guy is incapable of taking out zerglings on his own. I'll have to leave this guy here. That's unfortunate. Something cool strange has to be there. God damn it! You moved everything away. <laughs> I need to, I just, I, this is how I operate, I heal as a ball. Upgrade up, upgrade light. I'm gonna get more upgrades for the tank though. Or I'm gonna get more tanks, should I say. I, I, I like the tanks. Tanks are fun. They'll be, they'll be nice for later. Anyway, so yeah, I left the map open. It was open from the very get-go. Uh, this is something actually... I, I, I read a lot of the, the, the well, I, I read a lot about what people said about this map on the Blizzard forums, and a lot of people misunderstood what the hell I was trying to do with this. Basically, I was a believer in the, the like, keeping the map open and all that kind of shit. And people were like, people thought that, I read some posts and I was kind of insulted. They thought that I, I, I opened it because it never got popular, or, or I was done with it, and that was the point at which I, I left it open. No, it was open from the get-go. I, I allowed anyone to edit it. Uh, the popularity of the map was about for a month when I originally released it, because this is one of the first maps that came out. Uh, well, not it, it wasn't one of the first maps that came out, but I did it particularly for one of the contests that Blizzard had. Um, they, they had a they had a mapping contest, and so I, I submitted it for that. And we can't see that guy up there. You don't want. It was actually going to uh, BlizzCon, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the, that was the reward going to BlizzCon, and I, I didn't win it, despite the fact that it's, to this day, it is one of the most popular maps. Not my version, but, as I said, it's used as a base for a lot of other maps. Like, that was the my, that was my whole intention, was uh, that it was supposed to be edited by other people. I like, I like the idea of that, because I'm like, okay, my vision may not be everybody's vision, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to let uh, anybody edit it, basically. Uh, let's build another tank. I like tanks. Tanks are my favorite unit. Oh, you like tanks, do you? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate them. They should be able to handle all the stuff that comes in. That means we can kind of just move up here. I'm just gonna have this guy over here. 
I mean, I might as well bring the Void Rave guy while these tanks handle everything back there. I can put like two of my Marines to handle the Horde. Right, I'm gonna move up here so I can. Get sight. Can, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be here to help me because my guy will die. No, no, no. Just kill these guys. All right, got sight. Those, 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 those units can kind of be a little bit dangerous sometimes. You ran away, really? Are you a pussy? Keep that going so I can void right that. There you go. So yeah, I, I kept this open the entire time, and and yeah, people misunderstood that completely. And so like what a lot of people have been doing with this with, with their versions of this map is they've been opening it when they're done with it. They they basically they took my open map, edited it, and then closed it. And I thought I thought that was kind of fucking stupid, but regardless, um, it's their choice. I mean, I, I there was no rule against that. I just thought they would have like the I, I assume they would have a courtesy to say, hey, this is an open map. Maybe I should release this open too, so other people can end it. Because I had that I had that privilege as well. But whatever, they didn't do that. But I'm not I'm not I'm not butt mad about that. I'm just saying that was that was a thing, and um, and so, but you know some of them did open it after they were done with it. So you know I'll give them that much. You, oh, you want to heal up first before we go uh, on, in on that? Oh, you got a battle cruiser? Why? Why not? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, he's allowed to do that. Nothing stopping him. Alright, let's go. Alright, yeah, like, we're still injured. Hang on. <laughs> it's like 1 HP. Anyways, um, so yeah. That's what I did. People, uh, as I said, they misinterpreted what my intention was, and so I'm just saying it outright. I just want to leave it open. And uh, it's meant to be a base map. It's meant to be added upon. Like, I didn't use any Protoss units. Uh, well, with the exception of the fact that the flamethrower is uh, obviously changed with a, a Void Ray Beam. And I tried to make things interesting. That's, that was my idea. And people made it more difficult. Uh, like, the map is not what I would call hard. Like, it, like I didn't really put much effort into, I guess, the difficulty of it. Um, and there's some, like, exploits around it. Okay, so when, when this thing opens up, you know, we're gonna have to run. Run, cat, run! Run! <laughs> Go. I think you're f you, you got blink for that firebot, I hope. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I like the fact you got surrounded there. I mean, the pep, like, the firebot's handling it! Is he really? Yeah, probably because you have enough armor. Yeah, you do. You have more than enough armor for that. Problem solved. Actually, let's go, let's go move these guys up now that we have that uh, over. We got to take up the north side now? Yep. Well, we got to now go to the west. Generally speaking, though, if, if you want, like, I call it Special Forces Elite simply because someone else had made a Special Forces map, uh, which wasn't, like, it was different. Obviously, nobody really knows about the the first one that someone made, uh, but he he already made one to differentiate mine. I called it Special Forces Elite. I don't know why. Let's see if I can tank those. Uh, that's, I'm just outside of range. I'm gonna have to bring these guys down. What's up further north? Uh, that would be where the actual like all the enemies are. I don't know. There, but we can't go any further north there. Oh, there is a sunken colony we missed there. I mean, we did do that. You know, it's gonna explode into a billion zerglings. Hey, welcome to the chop. Oh, I guess you do. Alright, I'm gonna Fucking keep- Fucking marines, dude! I'm gonna keep moving up. The game does get progressively harder as we, as we continue, though. I don't know, I, I forgot how long this map was, but whatever. But yeah, this is this is this was popular for a while, but usually all the all the other edited maps took over, which I you know I'm not I'm not sad about it at all because I'm just like oh that was good, you know like other people other people did exactly what I intended with it. And also, I think I'm gonna uh, go back uh. here. I I, I unseize at that exact moment. Thanks, Kant. I to go heal. Okay. Go figure. Have fun dealing with the horde. That's not that many roaches? Yeah. Oh, they, they get more powerful. I mean, these these ones take multiple tank shells at this point. Oh, that's a bit of a loop. Oh, right. 
Go ahead. What's that? What happened? Oh, the, the Beatles are attacking us now? Yeah, I think the battle crews can handle them. Well, my, my guys can kill them, but they have to basically, um... Uh, I have to get an upgrade for it. I forgot, I, I forgot I'll farm some of this first. You know the Orbital Fortress can also handle them. So that was that was the upgrade for the tanks, which, how much does that cost, actually? Uh, let's see. Quad damage. Oh, it's like, uh, not that much. It's like like half a, half a tank. I don't really need it right now, though. I mean, this guy can already attack air, so it's okay. I don't know what the hell else is screwed up about this map at all. Actually, the Odin gets the ability to fire nukes whenever the fuck he pleases, which is kind of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start uh, jumping up ahead. I'm coming with you now. Ball of Death Inc. I like tanks. <laughs> I like battle cruisers. Fuck your bat. Fuck your battle cruisers. They smell. All right. Uh, actually, how much does this upgrade me by? Let's see. Uh, so they're like 125 now. I get another upgrade. It's 130, so it's five, five per level, which makes sense. Oh, oh. oh that's Kerrigan. Kerrigan. That's uh, one of the bosses of the map. Oh, rip five, bat. Oh, and we can now get like a shit ton more stuff. Uh, siege tank. And I should probably get the air up right now. Yeah, let's get the artillery targeting. Alright. Let's go have a let's set a rally point over here. What are you doing? Move up, you fool. I'm fine, I'll stay. Just move that in. I, mean, I did just lose a fire bat, but yeah. Uh, so now we're getting to the area where now some of the buildings have that random ass uh, buff. Oh shit! Rip, kid. Rip. My lizard marine. Move it back. Have you ever uh, have you ever no. heard of the term micro? Fuck. I'm not. I've really, like I've not played Starcraft in like years, dude. You're not pro. Give me a break. Not pro Korean. Yeah, now I'm retreating. Have fun with that. Uh, now they're spawning more roaches. I thought these roaches were actually just to have upgrades, so I'm gonna once again blame possibly Blizzard for fucking that up again. Oh, now Sweet Home Alabama's playing. Oh, there you go. See, I told you to do it. It's it's in the music list now. So, as you can see, as we progressively destroy these uh, larger buildings, then more serious stuff spawns, essentially. Oh shit, Hydralisks. Canned. Oh fuck, I'm just gonna turn this boat around. Fuck that. Okay, that's a lot of shit there. So now we have Mutalis and Hydralisk spawning. Our allies are being attacked. Which can be bad. I don't I don't have the upgrades for that. I should probably should focus on those. And also the fucking healing takes forever. By the way, the, if you upgrade health, yep. it's pretty useless, because I think that I think the life regeneration does doesn't scale with it at all. I'm, I'm actually almost certain that's exactly what happens. So don't do it that much. I think this guy's in the sun. Do we not to kill more Hydra? And I can, I, I, oh fuck, okay. Well, since you're running away, I'm gonna run this way. We're gonna go for that Roach <laughs> Cavern. Yeah, we fought all that. Holy shit. He's just patrolling? These hydras are really like... <laughs> just patrolling them, yeah! These hydras are really what? The, they're really... Uh, the money bags, man. How much money are they giving you? 40 a pop. Yeah. That is the reason you do that. These roaches are giving me 25, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, I guess. There's only a few hydras spawning at once. Let me get some more upgrades in. Uh, armor? Yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. Need some more upgrades. <laughs> Why did you put Sweet Home Alabama in there? Sorry, what? Why did you use Sweet Home Alabama? Uh, because it's in, the, it's in the game, it's in the game music. 
It's oh yeah, you're right. It is. And so I'm just like, I, it cost me nothing to have it in there. I thought it'd be like a pleasant surprise. Because it's in the game. Like it's just I didn't add that in. It's just you know it's there. I'm gonna regen my marines a bit. No, don't come after me. Those fucking roaches. Okay, I'm, I, why am I not one hitting them anymore? Do you do some more stuff? I don't know. Maybe. Like I'm not one shotting the uh, hydras. No, it's because you're marines. I want to be able to one shot them though. I want to be the horde of marines that cuts through the things like butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is fun, dude. You could do that. Oh shit, Kerrigan! Go, Kerrigan! No! Oh, one of those guys. Our are being Good thing you bought that Hellion, right? Alright, this tank's still gonna rip. Those things get harder though, by the way. So don't, don't, don't try and pop them. Yeah, the Hydra's kind of shit. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's get two more tanks. And they, they will actually follow the rally point like you're supposed to. Fucking hell, 34 upgrades, man. 